Starship's recent IFT-2 flight was a milestone for SpaceX's development history. It demonstrated the capabilities and potential of Starship, which is SpaceX's flagship project. SpaceX has been leading the aerospace industry with its innovative and ambitious vision. However, SpaceX is not the only player in this field. Its competitors are also trying to catch up and challenge its dominance, one of them being Boeing, which has been working on its own crewed spacecraft, Starliner. After after several delays and setbacks, Boeing is finally ready to launch Starliner and compete with SpaceX's Dragon. What are the details of Boeing's plan? How will it affect the future of space exploration? What are the advantages and disadvantages of Starliner compared to Dragon? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. On November 20th, at the meeting of the NASA Advisory Council's Human Exploration and Operations Committee, Phil McAllister, director of the agency's Commercial Space Division, said preparations for the Crew Flight Test, or CFT, mission were on schedule for a launch as soon as April 14. Since recognizing problems with parachute straps and flammable tape in June, Boeing and NASA have spent months repairing and upgrading them. They said it would take them two months to fix the flammable tape problem and four months to resolve the parachute problem. After these months, the flammable tapes were probably removed and replaced with safer materials. The parachute also seems to have been redesigned and will be tested in January next year. McAllister went on to say, we're on track for that launch. We've still got a lot of things to do, obviously. For its first crewed flight, Boeing will use the third Starliner prototype, also called Calypso. It was the prototype used in the first orbital test flight in December of 2019. That flight encountered several software errors that prevented it from connecting and docking on the ISS, forcing it to land after two flight dates. Starliner's first crew flight will carry astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams to the ISS. If it can launch as planned, this Starliner flight will likely mark notable milestones. First, it'll be the first crewed vehicle to fly from the Cape Canaveral area since the Apollo 7 flight in 1968, since most crewed flights are mainly conducted at the nearby Kennedy Space Center. Second, it'll be the first crewed mission to land on land instead of landing in the ocean like previous vehicles. However, its launch schedule will still depend on a drop test in January next year. This test will be to check the parachute landing process, one of the problems that Starliner often encountered in previous tests. In fact, this crewed flight was scheduled six years ago, back in 2017. In 2014, NASA awarded Boeing a contract worth $4.2 billion to develop a vehicle vehicle that helps send astronauts to the ISS. Afterward, they also received an additional $300 million, increasing the total amount they received to $4.5 billion. Nevertheless, the crew flight was postponed because Boeing had not completed the upgrades nor conducted orbital test flights. In 2016, Boeing said it would push back the test schedule by eight months because it wanted to reduce the mass of the Starliner and resolve aerodynamic issues as well as NASA requirements and problems with the launch vehicle. The orbital test flight was scheduled for April of 2019. However, in July of 2018, a hypergolic propellant leak occurred, causing them to push back that flight to August of 2019. But it wasn't until December of that year that the flight was conducted. That was the Calypso flight that had software problems as I just mentioned. It took them two and a half years to resolve the problems that occurred on that flight. By May of 2022, they were able to conduct the second orbital test flight and, fortunately, Starliner's successfully reached the ISS. Based on that success, they confidently planned to conduct the first crewed flight in December of 2022. But then, the schedule was pushed back many times until July of 2023. However, in June, they had the flammable tape and parachute problem, and they had to spend months solving it. In October, they said the crewed flight would be ready to fly in March of 2023. NASA then set an official schedule for the flight on April 14th of 2023. Thus, the flight was much later than planned. According to the contract, they will have to make six crewed flights to the ISS, but they spent half their time struggling with their problems and haven't conducted any crewed flights yet. Meanwhile, the ISS may be retired at the end of the decade. In contrast to the slowness and uncertainty of its competitors, SpaceX's Dragon is still making strong and reliable progress. Initially, SpaceX's Dragon was assigned to perform six missions like Starliner, but thanks to its reliability, it was assigned three more missions in February of 2022 and 
five more in September of 2022 by NASA, increasing the total number of missions of Crew Dragon to 14. To date, SpaceX has carried out seven crewed missions under NASA contracts, of which the most recent mission was carried out on August 26th. This year, SpaceX has completed two crewed missions for NASA. The eighth flight is expected to be launched in February of 2024. The remaining missions will be spread out until 2029. Besides NASA contract flights, Crew Dragon also carries out other missions like Inspiration and missions to help Axiom Space build the commercial space station. Thus, up until now, SpaceX's Dragon has performed a total of 11 crewed flights, including test flights. Obviously, SpaceX's achievements with the Dragon are superior to Starliner's, both in quantity and quality. But besides the Dragon, SpaceX is also accelerating strongly in other projects. This year, they conducted two Starship IFTs, or Integrated Flight Tests. The most recent flight was conducted on November 18th. Compared to the first flight, the recent Starship flight has made a lot of progress. Successes will continue to be maintained and promoted by SpaceX in subsequent flights. However, in the near future, SpaceX still will have to spend a lot of time researching and improving their vehicle because the recent flights still had many problems. These are problems to do with engine stability after separation, fuel leaks, and other things that didn't go smoothly for both the Super Heavy and Starship stages. But we can completely believe in SpaceX as they encountered even greater challenges than now after the April flight. Yet, they handled almost all of these very well. If SpaceX continues to make progress like the past few months, perhaps the day Starship reaches orbit is approaching. Additionally, vehicles like Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are also operating more and more often. Falcon 9 has launched more than 80 missions this year, deepening the record it set in 2022. Meanwhile, Falcon Heavy has also been strong with four missions this year. Next year, SpaceX also plans to launch up to 144 missions for all of their vehicles, averaging out to 12 launches per month, an insane amount that no other entity has ever achieved. Therefore, Starliner's next mission will be an extremely important mission for Boeing. If successful, they will create the first achievement to have a basis for the next steps and compete with SpaceX's Dragon. But but if it fails, it'll be complete and total humiliation. A farce for the aerospace industry. The issue will no longer be about reliability, it'll determine the existence of the Starliner project itself. SpaceX is flying very high and far with Dragon, Falcon 9, and Falcon Heavy. Shortly, they will also break all the limits with their largest and most powerful vehicle, the Starship. This will probably be the last chance for Boeing and Starliner because if they can't do anything before SpaceX makes history with Starship, it'll be difficult for them to receive public attention even if they succeed afterward. Hopefully, Boeing and Starliner can do something special after so many years trying to create competition with SpaceX's Dragon, making the race to the ISS less boring. Competition will help the US aerospace industry continue to move forward and achieve greater feats in innovation. But how about you? Do you think Starliner can be launched on schedule? If so, do you believe it'll be successful? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So for that, once again, we thank you and we hope to see you again next time.